We're at a baseball game, but we're going to talk some wrestling with Paul White. And, Paul, what brings you out to Steinbrenner Field to see the Yankees play? Well, it's funny. I started a relationship with the Yankees several years ago, going to the big ballpark up in New York, and then living here in Tampa, getting an opportunity with AEW to come out here and say hi to the guys and see America's greatest sport and this beautiful weather. I mean, why would I say no? Well, that's a headline right there. So a professional wrestler who also played college basketball is calling baseball America's greatest sport. It is. I mean, come on. Look at the history of baseball. Everybody loves baseball. Not everybody loves wrestling. Not everybody loves basketball. Not everybody loves football. Everybody loves baseball. So seven feet tall, close yeah. to 400 pounds. A little over 400, you know. <laughs> I used to be over 500, so I was a quarter ton of fun. But now I've dropped it down to 400, and we're still going lower. Where would you slot yourself on a baseball field? Oh, first base. You're, you're a first baseman. First baseman all day long. First base all day long. Got a nice, big, huge target. First baseman. There you go. You don't want to put me in the outfield, although maybe snagging a fly ball when I was younger might have been handy, but first base is pretty good. A lot of action there. Keep me motivated. You have so many feats of strength and so many wins in your career, beating Hulk Hogan, et cetera, et cetera. When you watch baseball players, what impresses you about their skill level? Uh, the hand-eye coordination and the the decisiveness the decisiveness of action. There's a thing that I call unconscious competence that happens a lot in wrestling, where if you have to think about something, it's already too late. Baseball is a great example of that. These players are moving on such a fluid, instinctual move because of years of training, playing the game, and just great instincts. That's the the beauty of watching baseball played at this level. Fans have been used to seeing you wrestle for upwards of two decades. How has the transition to the AEW been for you? It's been fantastic. Uh, you know, I was blessed to work for a big company for a lot, lot, of, lot of years all over the world. And now at, at my stage of the game, uh, to find myself useful in a company that uh, allows me to spread a lot of my knowledge to the younger talent, get a chance to get on the microphone every now and then and enhance them, help their characters along, and then get in the ring and mix it up. It's uh, probably the single greatest thing that could ever happen to me. I'm blessed, grateful, and thankful for the fans that uh, still like to see me do my thing. And you are the rare person who will show up to a Yankee game and actually make Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton look small. <laughs> yeah, I make most buildings look small. So, but the only one that I have trouble making look small is probably Shaq. But you know, we've feuded over that for years. So.